Hello! In this video we're going to talk about a tiny country in Europe, Andorra. It's known for its ski resorts and a tax haven status that encourages duty-free shopping. Andorra is the sixth smallest nation in Europe, having an area of just 468 square kilometers. That's almost twice smaller than New York City and a population of about 85,000 people. You might wonder, why would I want to know about such a small country? But I think it's not the size of the country that makes it interesting. Andorra is a tiny independent principality situated between France and Spain in the Pyrenees Mountains. Two-thirds of the residents lack Andorra nationality and do not have the right to vote in elections. Andorrans, who are ethnically Catalans, are a minority in their own country. Spanish, French and Portuguese residents make up about 67% of the population. The national language is Catalan. It is spoken by more than 12 million people. Spanish, French and Portuguese are also spoken. And as in the rest of Europe, most people speak English well. The present principality was formed in 1278 and Andorra has been a protectorate of France and Spain ever since. Andorra has no army and a limited number of policemen. The country's only military expenditure is ammunition for fireworks at official celebrations. Who will defend Andorra in case of an invasion? France and Spain, of course. Andorra doesn't even have an airport, nor a railway station, so you can only get here by bus or by car from Spain or France. For example, from Barcelona airport to Andorra is just three hours by bus. Crime here is pretty much non-existent. For example, in 2003, there were only 61 people in custody. And this is for the whole country. If the term exceeds three months, criminals have a choice to make, to go to jail in France or Spain. Tourism, the mainstay of Andorra's tiny but well-to-do economy, accounts for roughly 80% of the GDP. Andorra's tourism services an estimated 10 million visitors annually. It's hard to believe how the country has transformed from a once mountainous rural community into a powerful tourist center. The second most important sector of the economy is the banking sector. Andorra still retains the reputation of a country that does not reveal the secrecy of bank deposits. Plus, taxes in Andorra are among the lowest in Europe, the so-called tax haven. The average salary is 1700 euros per month. Andorra is famous for its shopping experience. Here prices can be 15 to 20 percent lower than in neighboring countries due to the low taxation policy. Even the Spaniards and the French come here every weekend for shopping. They mostly buy tobacco and expensive alcohol. Most tourists come here for the ski resorts of course. There are six main villages in which ski resorts are based 128 trails with impressive elevations of up to a thousand meters, a good choice of equipment to rent, and safety is always a top priority. The helicopter is always on the alert. Excellent infrastructure with many hotels and great service. There are about 200 hotels here. The capital is Andorra La Vella hiding from the world in the middle of the Pyrenees peaks. It's a small town in the highlands, which is easy to get around on foot. It consists in fact of only one central street and many smaller streets. Andorra's old town, the Barry Antic, includes several streets and buildings dating from early times. Due to the mountainous terrain, all houses are inscribed into the slopes of the mountains, so the streets are narrow and winding. In the summertime you can ride mountain trails on bicycles and on horses, do mountaineering, go fishing and hunting. Beautiful nature. You can endlessly enjoy the magnificent mountain scenery, waterfalls, rivers and gorges. The length of the road network of Andorra is only 279 kilometers. Lots of tunnels, which is not surprising for a mountainous country. Lots of sports activities, great nightlife, many bars, pubs and restaurants where you can try different cuisines of the world. Gastronomic traditions of Andorra closely intertwine with Spain and France. It's worth trying the local soup, escudel. Hamon or dry cured ham is very popular, making a raw delicacy a real tradition. You can even try it in the store. 
Wines are very popular here too, which is no surprise knowing that Andorra has the seventh highest alcohol consumption per capita in the world. The local people are very friendly. The population of Andorra is predominantly Catholic. The schools teach in Catalan, French and Spanish. About 50% of children choose to go to French schools. There is only one university where about 500 people study. Students who get accepted to universities in France, Spain and other European countries get their education paid for by the state. Becoming a citizen is very difficult and it's a long process. It is necessary to live in this country for 20 years before you can do that. Another mandatory condition is to give up your old citizenship. Andorra does not recognize two passports. It is interesting that postal services inside the country are totally free. Impeccable ecology. The water from the tap is clean and safe to drink. Water in swimming pools is not chlorinated. In 2013, Andorra had the highest life expectancy in the world. 81 years. The once closed principality is now flourishing thanks to tourism. Would you rather live in a huge country like China, India or the US? Or in such a small country as Andorra? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.